Hey, uh, welcome back. I uh, got something uh, kind of interesting subject I want to discuss with you guys and uh, do a little bit of reporting, take some video. So if you've been paying attention to the news lately uh, with what's going on in uh, either Nevada or Oklahoma and Texas, if you pay attention to those, uh, you'll notice that there's a bunch of land that's been taken. Uh, BLM is trying to lay claim to certain land uh, that either ranchers or farmers or you know people have just been living there and what's going on here in uh, New Mexico this is uh, near Weed, New Mexico this uh, this area right here uh, where there's a, uh, a spring has been fenced off uh, locked up and secured by the US Forest Service which is kind of interesting because if you look at like what I just told you that it's been other agencies BLM that's been uh, securing land and taking land from people this one is interesting uh, what's going on here is that they're saying that this is a uh, protected habitat for these a certain kind of uh, mouse uh, rodent or something like that I can't remember the name of the mouse uh, so this is the Aqua Chiquita riparian habitat management area i'm not sure if i said this word right this one right here i'll have to google that uh i was going to google it before i started filming but my uh phone has no service so i gotta sound like a uh, little bit of a doofus by not knowing how to say the word or what it means uh so it says that this area of natural forest of national forest is under the management is under management to enhance and protect riparian habitats these habitats are important for all wildlife species during Wildlife are important for all wildlife species, including federal and state listed species. These sensitive habitats also provide improved water quality, groundwater recharge, and flood water retention. Requests for administrative access will be made through the Sacramento Rangers District Office at area code 575-628-2551. says this gate shall remain closed at all times. Violations are punishable by up to five hundred dollars or six months in jail per the following code of federal regulations so it says that uh, placing or allowing unauthorized livestock to enter or be in the national forest system failing to reclose any gate or other entry and this this is the interesting one this very last one damaging any natural area or other property of the u.s property of the u.s last time i checked being that i just sat down and had lunch with the uh, guy that has the stake to this land out here it's his property. This isn't U.S. property. This isn't federal property. This isn't U.S. Forest Service property. This isn't Sacramento Ranger property. This is this is his property. This is Jimmy's property, and he he has a right uh, to this, and he's had that right under the Homeland uh, or Homestead Act, uh, and he has secured this property since 1993. And what happens is he you know has two different plots out here that he was telling me about uh, a winter and a summer plot where his cattle come out here. Uh, and they, you know, they get to graze and they get to enjoy the water and just live a little happy cow lives until they get uh, killed for food. So now there's this fence that is up and this this lock that's up keeping his cows out of here and he's not allowed to lay claim to what is rightfully his. He's actually been uh, in legal proceedings. He wouldn't talk to me about uh, too much stuff because he's in litigation right now but him and his wife have been fighting uh, for this area since 1993 uh, his wife uh, it was pretty funny I'd, I uh, stopped at a general store and somebody asked I asked them about this if they knew exactly where this area was they told me yeah you know you need to go talk to the guy who actually owns it you know this is where his house is and I show up and his his uh, wife uh, they're an elder couple they're about maybe 75 uh, she was walking outside so I uh, roll up in my truck have my windows down you know so you can see it's some smiling happy American and I uh, I roll up and I uh, get out and she had walked inside and I, I said you know, I, I yelled out I said hello and she's like hey come in and she she just opens her door to me and I go inside and uh, she's on the phone with somebody and uh, she's talking about this situation and the meetings that they've been having and uh, she she said you know uh, I'll be with you in a minute, and I, and I just stood there and uh, in some random person's house. So it's nice that America is still what it somewhat used to be uh, in these smaller areas. So she had that discussion on the phone, got off the phone. I said, "Hey, you know, my name's Martin. I uh, I want to help you guys organize some things 
and I told her about the event in uh, Texas at the Red River uh, that I just went to that was uh, hosted by uh, don'tcomply.com and come and take it America uh, or come and take it Texas, whatever branch you want to. Hopefully if, uh, if you guys are in Texas, you have watched some of their videos or some of my videos and know what's going on and joined and went out on open carry walks and had a good time. So I told her that, uh, that I would like to get the word out to some of those people and see if we can organize some more people to come up here and support them. So she said that I need to go over and talk to her husband who was at the cafe next door and uh, talk to another gentleman uh, that she was talking to. Uh, and so I did, went over there, sat down, had lunch, had a good conversation, good long conversation with them about uh, the far overreach of the federal government right now. And uh, just generally talked about well, why would... Why does the U.S. Forest Service need this land? Why do they want water? Why, I mean, if they're going to, you know, if, if you're worried about stuff getting out here and hurting these little, uh, these field mice or whatever they are uh, versus cattle, then there's, there's an issue, you know, versus cattle being uh, watered and taken care of and, and grazing, which they can, they can graze in this other area. But as you know, uh, where there's water, the grass grows better. And uh, maybe they want to relax, have a little, uh, go for a little swim or something. So I think it's very interesting. Uh, and we're having a, they invited me to a little meeting and actually asked if I would uh, speak at it. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to speak. Today is uh, Thursday and the meeting is Saturday. So it'll be a rush for me to prepare something. I'm not that well of a, I'm not that good of a public speaker. As you all know if you watch my videos, I'm decent, but I, Every once in a while, you know, get get nervous and uh, stumble. Everybody does. Everybody mis makes mistakes. So I don't know. I don't want to. Uh, r right now, I think that it's there. Uh, they're they're doing this battle. I just want to help get the word out on it. Uh, but I don't want to step on their toes with what they believe in uh, or anything like that. So it's uh like I said, it's this Saturday in Almogordo, New Mexico, the town I live in, and it's uh. Right now, near the movie theater at the U.S. Forest Service office. So I'm going to go. It's like from 10 to noon. I might speak. might draft up a, a couple of paragraphs or something to say. So let's, uh, there's my truck. Let me walk you guys down to uh, where, where this other sign is. It goes into a little bit more detail about how they, uh, how they funded this fence and, and all that good stuff. And, uh. I took a walk way down there up that road, uh, probably went about a half a mile, and it's just nothing but this fence. Um, haven't found the source of the spring, but uh, it's a nice little area. If I was a cow, I'd be happy to be here, happy to uh, enjoy it. So let's go up here. Like I said, take a look at this sign. It's a little bit more uh, in detail of a sign than the other one. So this one says it's a uh, wildlife habitat improvement. So it says this wildlife improvement was constructed by the Lincoln National Forest in cooperation with the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and other co cooperators. Let me uh, let me stop right there. Other cooperators. How about they ask the guy that has the the land that actually uh, reserves the right to uh, occupy this area. So it says, funding the construction was provided by sportsman contributions through the, uh, through the purchase of habitat improvement stamps. So there went a sheriff, deputy. So it says, yeah, funding the construction was provided by sportsman contributions through the purchase of habitat improvement stamps as authorized by the Sykes Act. I gotta look that up. And New Mexico Game Commission. So can you tell my... I'm a little bit out of shape. And then again, we're at like 8,000 feet, so. But uh, hopefully the uh, sheriff, uh, like I had a dis discussion with the, the other gentleman that uh, or helped organizing this event on Saturday, uh, Sheriff Benny House for Otero County has uh, been authorized by the Otero County commissioners. Uh, there's three of them that sit on the, on the board, uh, the commission board. Two of them voted for him opening the gate, coming out here and pretty much cutting off the lock and, and just letting 
uh, the cattle back in. I, I say do more than cut the lock off. Let's take the whole damn fence down. Uh, two of them voted on it. One of them was out of town, so I guess he or she didn't get a vote. Uh, but the sheriff's kind of sitting on it. Uh, he's has his uh, vote from the county, so he should be able to come out here. But I guess he was working on a, another court hearing. So to me, it seems like everybody's playing the uh, the game of uh, well, the sheriff's up for re-election on Tuesday. So everybody, I think everybody's playing the game of treading lightly. They don't want to step on any toes, and uh, what they're trying to do is uh, is not make any one side pissed off. So uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's good. Uh, there should be either you're for freedoms of Americans or you're against it. Uh, so Sheriff House, if you're watching this, please uh, please be for freedoms of Americans and come out here and, and take this fence down. Uh, send me a message on. Uh, my YouTube channel, when you're going to do it, I'll come out here with my truck and help. Uh, so, you know, or all you viewers, if you're in the area, hopefully you guys can come down and uh, support the rancher here and, uh, you know, just help him uh, preserve his right to what's rightfully his. And, and yeah, you know, if you've watched this, you can see this fence, it ends right there, you know, and then there's a little bit of water. So, yeah, the, the cattle can come down here and they can drink, and then there's another fence right there. That's not that's not the point. That's not the issue. The, the issue is you shouldn't fence off any of this. If, if this is rightfully his uh, through his legal means, then then it's his property. Don't put a don't put a fence here and say, oh, your cattle can drink there. Or, you know, uh, I also talked to another rancher that wasn't very uh, concerned about this. He said, you know, hey, drill a well and uh, put in some solar panels and a pump and uh, you know secure your water like that and into a tank he, he, he has had he's Jimmy told me he's like sixth generation out here you know Th this is his stuff this is his land that's that should be his uh, I guess there's actually four or five different spots out here that are fenced off I'm not sure exactly uh, I didn't come out here with him he was running some bulls that so he had to go take care of uh, I didn't come out here with him to determine exactly where his uh, starts and ends, but e either way, but for all uh, intensive purposes right now, let's say that, that plot of land is, is his uh, versus another fenced off little area because e either way, the, the point is the same. The, the point is the, the federal government is overreaching and we need to do something about it. So please join us. See, there you go. Video proof that the cattle are now really close to the road, obviously. Uh, just to show that it's a little bit unsafe for them to have fenced off all this land uh, by that creek. So I've been driving for uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a mile and it still is going and going and going. And so here we go. See, here's one cow. See how dangerous that is for him? You know, he, there he is, uh, just trying to enjoy his day and he's. They're forced to be right next to the road. They're kind of scared. They don't, they don't know what to do, you know. They probably, I don't know how smart cows are, but they were probably used to, you know, go where they want. And now there's this fence. And uh, there's another one of the signs. Same, uh, same one. Let's get out and uh, look here for a minute. So, I guess they're... Uh, down in there is where all them mice are that uh, just need to be happy and free while we say F to the cows. Uh, so here's more of the fence line. Uh, obviously you can look down here and you can see uh, cow patties and prints where they've been walking. Let's, uh, let's clean this up. They don't need to get that stuck on them. You know, you'd think that these guys would uh, come out here and do a little bit of a better job. Yeah, this is barbed wire, so might not have been from their fence, but either way, we're going to take it with us. So, yeah. I haven't seen any mice or whatever these guys are supposed to be called. It's pretty interesting, you know. Yeah, they, I understand that cows trample on stuff and make a huge mess, uh, but I've never stepped on a on a on a mouse. Pretty sure they'll move out of the way for the cattle too. 
And even at the other location, you had stuff like these, like see these wood, uh, where it used to be a post. I don't know if that's what this is from. They used to have barbed wire out here until they put this other fence up. Uh, seems to me like that's what's going on, you know, finding old barbed wire and uh, other telltale signs of there being a, uh, a fence there that doesn't look too old. Uh, so, not sure. We'll go back uh, to the truck, drive a little bit uh, to the other way. Yeah, I already found some another piece. There should be. Yeah, so here we go. More, more stuff that they should have cleaned up when they were out here. But what, what does it say? It says that they're all about uh, the environment. Wildlife habitat improvement. All about the environment. Don't mind the, uh, the barbed wire and the uh, cable that's running around here or any of that stuff. All right, so here we are at the actual uh, spring. And uh, just like at the other spot, same sign. Uh, you can see the spring over there. Used to be a little bit fenced off. Uh, obviously, you don't want everybody uh, cattle-wise going in there and messing around. So it says, what's it say? Barrel Springs. So, let's uh, go over there. I uh, already went over there and took a little bit of pictures, but we're gonna take some video. Uh, might even uh, hop over that fence. Don't comply. Well, last I saw, there was no uh, no signs that say uh, no trespassing. So, and I'm not either one of these uh, three things. I'm not a uh, allowing unauthorized livestock to enter. I'm not failing to reclose the gate, and I'm not damaging anything natural. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and go over here and film a little bit. Especially before it rains. So here we go. There's the, uh, the spring. Obviously it's not flowing. Uh, obviously at one point it did. Talked to one of those uh, ranchers up there. He said that they've had a bad year. But obviously you saw in the video there was uh, oh look, there there are those mice. So they really are here. You see them right down in there? Running around. So I guess those guys are uh, more important than the cattle. I and mean, the ranchers stake to this claim out here. It's funny, they're not even where the water is. Well, go back to the truck, get the camera, see if I can get a picture of them. Yeah, give me a minute, we're gonna go back over the fence and uh, get some more pictures, like I said. Oh yeah, this one, the master lock, just like the other one. Nice, uh, four digits. So yeah, hopefully if you've reached it to the end of this video, you're gonna try to make it out there to us, or uh, send us a, uh, send us a message on, uh, on here, on YouTube, telling us that you support us, and uh, I'll get you the rancher's information if you knew, if you want it. Maybe shoot him, a, him an email saying, hey, sorry I couldn't be there, but I support your cause. People just need to know that uh, people still believe in them. Thanks for watching. Well, turns out I'm not done making video for today. I wanted to show you what, uh, in case you've never seen cows, that's what they do, see? Well, they, they watch you when you pull up because they don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, especially if you drive a truck that may or may not be the same color one they're used to seeing it might come around you up or feed you or brand you or tag you or something but uh just wanted to come and make one more uh statement and uh, tell you another thing that, that landon around here told me that that there's uh two endangered uh vegetations 
uh, well, if, if that's what you want to call it. Well, I guess there's a species of certain thorns out here that are uh, on the endangered species list since he's owned this area, and also a uh, thistle, which I don't know if uh, any of this is it. Hopefully it's not because I'm kind of parked on it. Be going to jail. And also wanted to put my two cents in about uh, all this stuff uh, that's happening in Nevada with uh, Mr. Bundy. And uh, I don't believe in the things that he said. Uh, he's old and set in his ways. He has the First Amendment to back up his freedom of speech. Um, I don't necessarily believe in a lot of things that he uh, he's done. But I do believe in the Constitution, and I believe that we, uh, I believe I'm going to get rained on. I, I believe we shouldn't set up uh, free speech zones, you know, they set up First Amendment zones uh, in Nevada where people could go and protest, you know, this, this whole uh, area, the whole country, the whole United States of America it, it is my First Amendment zone and my second, you know, uh, so don't, don't set up boundaries and tell people that that's where they're allowed to gather and voice their opinion. Uh, and that I think that that's going to end up happening out here. People are going to be told where they can't uh, protest and what we can and can't do as free Americans. Little baby, calling his mom or calling his friend? Huh. So yeah, thanks to uh, listening to my endless, endless, in, endless rambling. I can't even speak. I've spoke so much to you guys and and rambled on for no reason today. Well, a good reason, but some of the stuff uh, maybe you guys didn't want to hear. Hey, thanks for watching, uh, and of course I will film the event on Saturday, so if you're not there, uh, in person, be there in spirit, and then watch my video and share it. Thank you.